Hello, whoops, nearly kicked you over. Hello, it's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And uh, this is my healing list event for February 2020. It's part of my Patreon resources and it's especially for people who pledge $15 or more um, on my Patreon. So thank you so much for your support, everybody. Um, on that note too, if you do pledge $15 or more, you get access to this healing list event. You also um, are added to our Pillar of Light family membership and you receive a meditation each month. So uh, have a look if you're inspired to. But let's get straight into the healing. I've got 37 people on my list today and uh, what I'm going to do we're going to do some smudging and we're going to do some drumming today. So um, what I would do with everyone on my list, which I've got your written here. You're so pretty. I'm going to be drumming with my shamanic drum here. And as I'm drumming, I'm going to call, basically call you all forward and, and do a little bit of drumming for you as individuals. And um, so it's going to be a lot of drumming for our connection today, which actually feels very exciting and nice and grounding. Before we drum though, I'm going to smudge. So before I smudge, I just want to welcome you. Thank you for your support. Um, usually the healing events for patrons happens at the end of the month. So that if any new people come in, that they can be added. For this month, I'm a bit busy. I've got the retreat starting tomorrow um, and I've got a busy last week of February too. So I'm actually unable to do another healing event after this, this month. So if you do join up later after this, then you'll be added to the March healing list and that will happen towards the end of March. But I'll let you know the dates in March. <laughs> For now we're focusing on February. So this is a healing event. So what I recommend that you do is bring all of your attention here. If you have things to do, things going on in your life, see if you can put those aside, shut the door, turn off your phone or turn, let people know that you don't want to be disturbed. Whatever's going to help you be in this space 100% that will be really important. So to help us prepare, I'm going to light a smudge stick and I'm very excited to be using for the first time is this um, special sage stick that was sent to me. The, this is mountain sage from the US. I forget which state. And uh, Jeannie sent this to me. Um, sent me the leaf and I bundled and made two smudge sticks out of it. It's going to smell beautiful and sort of a shame you won't be able to smell it, but I think it's going to be awesome. So this is some smudging and you can make your own too. Just bundle up some sage uh, and put it in a dark dry spot for a couple of weeks and it'll dry enough for you to have your own sage. It's really nice. And you can always get a smudge bowl from me. I make these. So they're on my leannepeters.com website. But we're going to smudge and we smudge to prepare ourselves for the healing time. So our smudging time is to get the stresses out. It's to get the negativity out. It's to uh, put the things we have to do aside. It's our preparation so we can go deeper with our healing experience. So um, take a nice big breath. I don't want to make any fire. So imagine this sacred smoke washing over your body and carrying away with it all negative energies, entities, cords, hooks, attacks and attachments. Take a big breath and let it go. Let that stuff go. These are why bowls are good. <laughs> you can do it like this so they don't uh, drop sparks everywhere. Um, okay, so nice big breath. And we ask this sacred smoke to wash over our body and carry away with it all negative energies, entities, cords, hooks, attacks and attachments. 
So take a big breath and let that stuff go. Okay, and so it is. Let me just pop, put this out. Excellent. So what now I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a healing energy card that's going to become part of our focus for the drumming. So as I said, as I'm drumming, I'm going to be calling you all forward. I'm going to be speaking your name and um, doing some drumming for you and feeling us all gather around in this circle to receive what we need from the drum. So trust that you will receive what you need from the drum. Part of what we likely receive will be connected with this card. So let's see what it is. Ah, it's new vibration. So this is really about drumming and letting the new come in. This is about being grounded and connected. It says you are moving into a new vibration. It's time to nourish the new as it grows within you. You are the one who must follow through, take action and do the nurturing. So there's a seed in here and the seed's been fed from the earth and it's been fed from the universe and it grows within us. So this is a very much about new beginnings and I'd like to drum now for new beginnings for us all. So before we can really step into new beginnings, we have to be ready to close the old doors of our life. So as I'm saying your name, imagine you're closing the old door of your life and open, opening the new door that's calling you now because you are being called into a new vibration, a new beginning. It's time to transform and shift, transform out of the heaviness of the old and lift up and rise up into the new that's calling you. So take a nice big breath. So I'm going to drum. I'm going to drum softly as I say people's names. As I say your name, just feel the drum come in and support you, especially supporting the, your new beginnings, whatever your new beginnings are for you personally, in your life, in your relationships, in your workplace, whatever they are. Feel the drum supporting you, backing you, um, cheering you on as you step into something new and whatever that new thing is. If you feel scared, then that's okay. Feel scared and let yourself drop that and find courage to move forward. So take a nice big breath. Oh, it's nice. I'm going to be drumming for a while. Enjoy. Okay, and I'm going to start um, inviting all these people on the healing list forward. So nice big breath. And I think just by inviting all these people forward, whether you're one of the people on the list or not, you could feel this as support, as a sense of togetherness, that we're really all in this together. That you're not alone as you prepare to step into new beginnings. Okay, calling forward, Carol White, Anique Beal, County DV Wee Dad, Matthew Keith.
James. Sondra Battles.
right. Please take a nice big breath and just let the energy settle. There's a feeling here of anchoring and um, like letting the new beginnings, the new energy settle into our bodies. It feels really beautiful. Let's grab a healing energy card number two. This is from my deck that I'm making at the moment that will be added to the healing energy cards number one deck so they can be joined together these numbers continue on from those so they're going to be the same size but for now these are my templates while I'm um, refining the deck before they get printed so I'm looking for the best card now to represent our forward movement from here so what do we need to know about what's next as we now prepare to transition back into our life into our everyday life just a reminder too, if you've had some healing energy stirred, just uh, remember to drink lots of water, listen to your body and be kind and gentle to yourself, especially over these next few days. And if you would love to be on the healing list for March, please have a look at my Patreon page. The link is in the video description below, I think, um, and see if it resonates with you. So I look forward to connecting with any of you who I've connected with today next month if you're inspired to stay in our Patreon. If not, then I'm um, sending you lots of love always. So our best card for what's next. What do we need to know as we move forward now from this? Uh, is this. It's card 107 called Winter's Hibernation. And it says body at rest. So this is now, this is like winter. Yeah, this is like the season of winter where um, we've just come out of the harvest and a heightened warm sort of time. And we're starting our hibernation or our time of rest. So this suggests to me from what I'm feeling is that as we bring the new energy forward, we're going to need to let it grow. Like if we're planting a seed, it's not going to suddenly become a big apple tree. We have to let that seed grow through nourishment and nurturing and grounding. So just like that is probably how we're going to feel moving forward, at least for a little bit or on and off as we let the energy settle and find its place as we let the seed now do its germinating. We've created the best conditions that we can. We're nurturing that seed to give it the best chance to grow. So now it's about resting and letting that seed grow. So not trying to control it, not trying to micromanage, but just letting it be and trusting. We've got fertile soil, trusting that we've created the best environment for this seed to germinate. So we may find our attention now um, pulled somewhere else so that we can let that seed grow over here while we're tying up loose ends or resting or mending or healing over here. So that's what we might find. Our body may feel like it wants rest as we let ourselves almost hibernate and, and um, digest what's, uh, what's coming. So thank you so much for connecting. I trust you've enjoyed our healing time this month and um, thank you so much if you have enjoyed this please hit the thumbs up button please feel free to comment or reach out privately through my website at templeofbalance.com.au um, I will be back again for a similar healing list event but in a different way we'll do we always do something different uh, next month so I'll see you towards the end of March if you're about Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you soon. Bye.